Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital truth. And the topic for this video is if someone shares their truth, <clears throat> say thank you. Um, very often when somebody shares their truth, especially if it's something that is challenging, we are going to enter in reactive mode. And when we enter into reactive mode, what we are saying is that I don't want to hear what you just said. So it's talk to my hand. I don't want to hear that. And uh, by doing that, we are cutting yourselves out of the relationship that we have with that person, and especially when it's a romantic lover or husband or wife or partner. Um, that's going to create division. It's going to create a space where you are no longer allowed to share your truth. So what you want to do is to have a very clear agreement where it's okay to bring up anything. And yes, there are some boundaries about timing. Sometimes it's not the right time for sharing. Sometimes you have been already processing for a whole day. You need a break. You need to be in fun and free flow for like a week before you share again. There are some boundaries possible. But the first thing that is, uh, that is very important is to be in a space where you encourage each other to be real. So when somebody comes to you and says, you know, right now I'm really angry about what happened yesterday. Okay, it might be a reality that you don't want to hear. You would rather your partner say, I'm happy and everything is all right. But the thing is that if they say that and they don't mean it, you're not connecting. You're not emotionally connecting with your partner because they are not saying their truth. They are not sharing that. And so when your partner goes like, I am angry about something that happened yesterday, the response would be, tell me more. I want to know more about this. Yes, I can see you are upset. Thank you for sharing your truth. See, all these answers are all answers that encourage your partner to be more open in the future. And so, if you want them to be more open, the last thing you want is to project emotional threat on them and enter into reactive or defensive mode when they share their truth. And I agree with you, it's not easy to do. This is why you have so many fights in relationships and in life in general, because we tend to enter in reactive mode as a defense mechanism. If somebody criticizes you, you know, and blames you over something, most of the times you are going to be like, whoa, 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 you did the same thing the other day as well, and I didn't react to that. And so you enter into fight and then more than then the disconnection happens. Whereas if you relax and you say, okay, what you just shared, really hurts. I can feel internally that it creates pain. I'm on the verge of tears right now. And uh, that's my truth. That's the emotion that is alive inside of me. And I'm okay with checking that emotion. I'm okay to check in if I recognize what you just said, if it's a truth that I can adopt, or if it's a truth that I cannot adopt. For instance, if you, if, if you share the, the idea that you are really sad right now, you can say, I'm really sad right now. And you go like, yeah, I'm sad too. And deep inside you're really happy, then share the fact that you're happy. You go like, can I share my happiness if my partner is sad? Yes. You don't have to accommodate your partner. You don't have to dive into the same emotions. You can be like, I know that you're sad and somehow I'm really happy right now. So it looks like we are not on the same level of emotions, but because we shared that truth, because we shared it, then it allows us to connect, to stay connected in, that, in, that, uh, in this difference of emotional states. So, um, yeah, the thing to practice again, think about that. It's a very simple tip. It's like, be always open to receive someone's truth without retaliation, without fighting back, without rejecting or without neglecting or without judging what they, what they just said. You just say, thank you for sharing your truth. I appreciate that. I appreciate you opening up to me. It's a powerful thing. Something else which is important to understand is that sometimes people are uncomfortable with positive truth sharing. If I have a lover and I say, you look so gorgeous right now, you're beautiful, I like your hair and how you smell and everything, it's like that person might be like, oh, you, always, you say that to everybody, it doesn't matter, it's not important, and they might be reactive to me sharing a compliment because they are uncomfortable with the idea of receiving it because the moment they receive it, they might open up. So it's the same thing with positive things.
you might, somebody might be uncomfortable because you are too, too high energy. Wow, I'm so freaking excited right now. I want to conquer the world, jump into the ocean. You know, and you might be talking to somebody who is a bit sad. They might be like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can take that level of energy right now. So it is the same with positive or negative truth or shadow truth. You know, just check in and next time somebody's sharing, no matter what they are sharing and they are saying something that is real to them, say thank you for sharing your truth. I appreciate that. Take a moment, pause, and if you have something to add, then you can add whatever you have to add. Hey, are you open for you to hear my truth or my version of the story? You know, and then you start a discussion or a conversation which is an open conversation, an open exploration about each other's feelings and states of mind. Powerful stuff. I hope you apply all that in your life, especially in your romantic relationships. I'll see you soon.